Hi Booktube, Lynette here and I'm bringing you another book haul. Um, this was a bit unexpected, I wasn't supposed to be buying any more books until December. However, um, I saw a promotion for something online and I just had to get it. Um, I actually have a subscription to a book service called A Box of Stories and they were promoting the fact that they had brought out a one-off Halloween box. So here it is. I couldn't resist it. Um, I have already opened it. I know what the books are inside it, but I thought I would share it with you as well. So basically, A Box of Stories is a subscription service that you can have either every month, every two months, every three months or every four months. They send you four books um, that basically they've bought up a load of because they didn't sell quite as well in the shops as was originally intended. So the publishers have a glut of them waiting to be sold and you get you don't know what they're going to be um they ask for a link to your goodreads account so they can make sure they don't send you books you've already read um and yeah they go from there so every third box you get an extra edition um it might be a discount code or it might be an additional book this is my third box so i actually got an additional book so i got five books this month this was a theme because it was Halloween, so they're all books that may be spooky or horror or something like that. The first book that I pulled out was The Secrets of Dreercliff Grange School by Kim Newman. This book is set in Somerset, which is where I live in the UK. Um, so I really want to pick this one up. I'm um, not sure if I'm going to do it very soon, but it's probably going to be the first one out of the box that I read. And uh, yes, it's about a young woman who um, is sent to Drakecliff Grange School because her mother finds her sleeping on the ceiling. So she realises that she's a little bit more special than she originally thought. Um, but one of the girls is abducted that, uh, from the school um, that she was bunking down with and there's a mystery from there and they have to rescue their friend. Um, don't really know anything more than that but it's just what I've gleaned from the back of the book um so yeah so and I love this cover I think it's really spooky um feeling if I wasn't if I wasn't reading Assassin's Fate at the moment um this probably would be the one that I would read because it's Halloween I'm filming this on Halloween um so yes so that's probably going to be um my next read very soon the next book out of the box is The Silence of Herondale by Joan Aiken. This is about a woman who is living in an isolated farmhouse on the Yorkshire Moors and it's um, there's been an escaped killer um, on the loose but where she's living already holds the secret of one death and then more things start to happen. Um, so again I think it's more um, horror thriller rather than um, rather than spooky um, but again it's another one that's very intriguing and that I like the sound of so again if it wasn't for the fact that I'm reading Assassin's Fate it's another one that would be quite high up on the list to read for um, for the month of October for Halloween. The third book out of the box is Cut by Mark Rabe. Uh, this is about a young man who um, as a preteen witnesses a murder um, but years later his girlfriend is abducted and he is then tasked with finding her before she pays for something he did in his past. That's all there is on the back. Again, very intriguing. Um, it's more crime thriller rather than horror. So not, to me, not really spooky for Halloween. I would have preferred more horror, I think, out of the box rather than uh, the books that they did get. Um, but yes, again, another one that I'm looking forward to reading. I've read similar sort of books in the past and enjoyed them so it sounds as though there might be some kind of twist in here um, so I'm looking forward to picking that up eventually. The fourth book out of the box is Halcyon by Rio Yours and this is about an island where a community has been set up that is supposedly free from crime, from greed, from anything bad and a man moves his family there after a tragedy just for a few months to recover and recuperate however he begins to suspect that not all is as it seems in this society um and it's uncovering the truth um so it sounds like it might be i'm loving the cover with the blood dripping down um 
I'm not sure if that's really what it's going to be, whether it's going to be horror or whether it's thriller. Again, I think it's more thriller. Um, but again, it's another one that's really intriguing and people have been reading it. Um, I, a part of the Facebook group for A Box of Stories, people have been reading it and have been loving it um, and have said it is the perfect read for Halloween. So yes, definitely, definitely. I think with the night's drawing in now, it's probably going to be high up on the TBR at some point. And then the final book out of the box, like I say, I've got five books because it was my third box. And that is The Doll Funeral by Kate Hamer. This is the book that I'm not sure about. It's the one that my mum is most intrigued by. Um, and I think it's been getting mixed reviews um, online. But it's about a girl who is living with a couple who she says are not her real parents. Um, she's being abused um but i think she also sees things as well i'm not too sure about this one i don't really know how to describe it um again i think it's thriller rather than horror but yeah there's some intriguing elements to this that i'm thinking might make me pick it up sooner rather than the later but again the reviews are a bit mixed and that's probably why it didn't sell quite so well um but yes I don't know about this one. I really don't know about this one, but it might be up your street. So you never know. I might read it soon. And then I had an accident. Um, I didn't spend any money. I promise. I swear this next section, I did not spend any money. I shopped my shelves. I have a storage unit where a lot of my household goods are being held while I wait to purchase my own place. Um, and I had to take some things up there. I had to go and get a couple of bits from there. Um, for my mum to use to borrow and I had some books that were there that I put up there because I wasn't sure if I wanted to get rid of them at the time that I was uh, moving things out of my old home um, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep them I had limited space on my shelves I still have limited space on my shelves um, but yes they were there and I had to move them to get to the bits that I wanted and they moved into my car and didn't move back into the shell into the storage unit so they are back on my shelves so the first of those books there's four of them the first of those books are uh the first two books in a trilogy and the first one is the bear and the nightingale and the second one is the girl in the tower both by Catherine arden um i got these out of another subscription box that i used to have and I think it's the book box club um they were doing a box for the girl in the tower and they gave us the bear and the nightingale as well um it's always bothered me that i've got one paperback one hardback um that really annoys me i hate having series you know if i start buying a series in paperback i continue buying it in paperback i will wait until it comes out um so that's always bothered me i read the bear and the nightingale when we were given the box um i think that's three or four years ago now but i never got around to reading the girl in the tower i wanted to read them like i say i think the only thing that bothered me the reason i didn't read them is because this one is a hardback i'm thinking i'm still thinking of um giving the hardback copy to a charity shop um either that or giving the paperback copy to the charity shop and trying to find online hardback copies of The Bear and the Nightingale and I think The Winter of the Witch I think is the final book in the series. They are about a young woman um, who uh, sees the spirits, um, the Russian spirits and it's based in Ruth Russian um, mythology um, and it's a bit magical realism in its telling and yes it's about how her family and home are being corrupted to follow christianity and stop following the spirits and what happens to them when the spirits are no longer being supported because the spirits protect the home basically um and it goes on there uh the second book follows Vasya's story but i don't really know very much about it um but again i want to read it i do want to read it it's a book that i've been thinking about um since i finished uh, the bear and the nightingale so yes i probably am going to pick them up at some point um and i i just thought you know what i need them back on my shelves um if i'm going to read it i need to be able to see them 
And the next two books were also subscription books from Bookbox Club. This next book is the reason why I originally took out the subscription in the first place, and that is Hunted by Megan Spooner. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Beauty and the Beast is my favourite Disney film. Belle is my Disney princess. Um, this is about a young woman who um, is going on a hunt and ends up being captured uh, by a beast. And yes, uh, she then it brings the beast. The beast is losing his humanity um, and they go on a hunt for Firebird. Again, this is based in Russian mythology. The Firebird is um, that kind of Eastern Northern European mythological um, area. And I absolutely loved it when I read it at the time. And again, I can understand why I didn't want to part with it. Again, I've thought about rereading it. I adore this cover. Um, and yes, I would like to reread it again, but it's about how uh, Yeva, who is the Belle character, um, brings the Beast character back to himself um, as they hunt for the Firebird and how they fall in love. Um, so it's a bit of a romance. It's fantasy. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, this final book in this haul is a difficult one for me. It's one that I was definitely torn about, uh, which is the reason why I kept hold of it in the first place, um, because I was enjoying it. It was just very, very slow. It's one that I, before release, had a net galley copy of it. And then we were quite lucky in the book box club to be sent the hardback version before release so that we could read it before release and that book is The Queens of Inneslea by Tessa Grattan. Now I got about halfway through this book and then DNF'd it but it wasn't that I wasn't enjoying it it was just that the storyline is so slow. I think it's one that you definitely need to take your time reading. Um, it is based around King Lear by uh, Shakespeare um, but it's about three daughters uh, whose prophecy obsessed father passes away only he leaves the kingdom uh, to two of the daughters instead of the third one um and the third daughter is the one who is keeping the kingdom alive because she is keeping to the old ways and it's about what happens from there i think there is war there is a struggle for the throne um for domination of the throne it's just very slow in its telling and I I mean it's a fantasy and I love fantasy um it's gorgeous beautiful cover so it's one that I really I mean I love the spine um and it would look fabulous up there next to my hardback books but I just I couldn't get on with it and I'm still not sure I want to reread it I want to try rereading it but yeah so I've brought it back with me. Again, I'm not 100% certain it's going to stay on my shelves. It might just make its way from the storage unit to my shelf to a charity shop. Um, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I haven't decided. I might try and reread it before making the ultimate decision. Five books that I didn't intend to purchase, but I did anyway. I'm really sorry. It was it was a one-off box that they were doing for Halloween. Um and I wanted some more kind of horror thriller, maybe for the for the autumn winter months. So I had to go with it. And yes, I couldn't resist. I've been thinking about bringing some of these books back to my shelves. The other books, I've covered them up now, but the other books I've got up there are my original copies of the Robin Hobb series. Um, but yeah, they are going to go to the charity shop because I've got the matching set now. Um, yeah, so... I am sorry, I know I'm not supposed to be bringing more shel books on my shelves. I couldn't help it. I had to do it. Um, yeah, sorry. So did you buy any books in October? If you did, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what everyone else is picking up. I put up videos every Monday at 6.30pm UK time and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye.